Today basically was a day to set a date to hear when they might start the hearing. It was a date to set a date. Uh, they're coming back to court on May 8th and on that day hopefully they'll set a date to when the extradition hearing will begin. Come on guys, just give a, give a walkway here guys. Just give a bit of a walkway here guys. Watch your step please. Watch your step. Okay, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm just going to get in the car. Got to move that way. We've got to get in the car guys. Get in the car please. Left or right guys. you got to move that way. But defense lawyer Richard Peck said this case has political overtones. He, he said it's a unique case in uh, extradition jur jurisprudence. He said they're concerned about some of the comments made, particularly by the United States president, because early in December, Donald Trump suggested that he might tr try to have the case quashed or not carry ahead with the case if he could get it as part of a trade deal with China. The defense are saying this case is political, and they're also concerned. They've uh, Ming Wang, those lawyers have also filed a, a civil suit alleging about when she was arrested that she didn't, her civil rights were violated, she didn't have proper access to a lawyer. So this is all sort of a little bit of a preview of what the defense might do when the actual extradition hearing begins. Crown just listen to it. They just let it go. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna ha they're gonna be prepared, and they're gonna argue on the merits of the case. Uh, the civil suit uh, that's another matter. Will that even go to court? What's going to happen there? So those are all questions that even even the defense lawyer said today. There's going to be many. Even between now and May, there might be more proceedings, more applications, more filings. What's next? Um, and Ming Wanzhou is supposed to be back in court on May 8th. On that date, they, they hopefully the plan is they will set a date for the whole extradition hearing to begin. That's a possibility, or they could re refer to a later date again. Basically, the extradition hearing here, it won't necessarily do with her guilt or innocence. That's, that's to be decided in the U.S. Basically, what they were looking at here, is there a case, has she been fairly treated, and carry on. Some extradition hearings in Canada have been, held, have been held up. If there's a threat of a death penalty, Canada won't extradite somebody to a country that has a death penalty. They don't have a death penalty here. They won't extradite somebody to a country with a death penalty. But since this is obviously not a death penalty case, that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, later on here, oh, this morning, of course, uh, she was arrested in September. 